Speedy Sports Extra. I'm Zach Fox. It is now time for our end zone team of the week. And for week eight of the Texas high school football season, we got the Lockney Longhorns. Now five and one on the season as they took down Sudan. <laughs> 38 to 34. Four straight wins for those Longhorns. Next, we'll speak with head coach Jonathan Tebow. Year two as head coach for these Longhorns and a mighty successful year, might I add. Go two and eight last year, five and one, strong start this year. What has been the key to the immediate change from year one to year two? Uh, the How hard the kids worked, to be completely honest. The offseason was a grueling one. We put these kids through, and they rose to the challenge and was, were willing to put in the work. And honestly, it's, it's, it's showing up on the field. Coach, you're 2-0 in district right now as well as you're looking for that first district title since 2004. And now that you see that it's very much within your grasp uh, as you head into Rawls this week, but being able to start off 2-0 in district, seems like you might be in charge of your own destiny here. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we've talked to the boys. It's all about step-by-step, step, and we're not looking ahead. A district title is our ultimate goal, but all we're trying to be is 1-0 this next coming week. So. Absolutely, and then on the offensive side of things, you're going to be very proud of what you're seeing. You're averaging close to 39 points per game while giving up 22 on defense. It seems like you guys are really playing a complete game of football each and every Friday night. Uh, yes, sir, we're trying to. It uh, kind of starts with our offensive line. Our backs are doing a great job. Receivers are blocking extremely well. Uh, just been very, very proud of the effort. and. Uh, we're just trying to get better week after week, and these boys will tell you we're still waiting for that one game where it all clicks, and when it all clicks, then we like what our chances will be. You even mentioned when you took up the position that you pride yourself on how well the, your lineman does, especially in the O-line side of things. And when you mentioned to me earlier that, I mean, you got your running back in six games, over 1,300 yards on the ground, that goes a credit definitely to this offensive line. Oh, yes, sir. They uh, put in a lot of weight room time, uh, did lineman challenge this summer, and uh, they feel like any team success is their success because uh, that's what that's what they are. They're servants, and so they're just trying to be servants, servant leaders for this team. Absolutely. Well, coach, you got a pretty big district test coming up this next week. You got Rawls, uh, six and one mm -hmm. right now on the season against five and one. You guys right now, and the way things are looking, especially in the district, you look for that district title. It could very well, when you look back to the end of the season, it could come down to this game to see maybe who decides to take that district title this year. So, I guess what can we expect from Friday night's game? Between you guys and the Jackrabbits. Well, we're going to play as hard as we possibly can, play it one play at a time, and in all honesty, our boys are determined to do what it takes. So I think it's going to be a, a fast, fun, physical ball game. Uh, and, and you know just how good this district is as well, and you guys prepared that for non-district play as well. When you see the success kind of building off of that, what's something that you like to take from what you've seen so far that's worked well with this team into Friday night's big match? Um, you know, taking what we've done in the past, it. it each team it kind of varies so we're we'll kind of tweak our game plan week by week and what what it is we choose to attack other teams with so um I'm not going to disclose too many secrets here because <laughs> Coach Rangel might be watching. So we're going to kind of keep all of that stuff kind of close to the vest right now. Absolutely. Well, Coach, uh, you also got us maybe a, uh, an upper hand here. You guys had the opportunity to be able to host uh, Rawls this year, being able to bring it back home. I guess what does that say about this community? You even mentioned at the at Midnight Madness, we were able to have the first practice of the year at, at mm -hmm. midnight that you had the roaring crowd out there to the wee hours of the morning. And so being able to have that, uh, that support behind you and now the success that Bree's with it it's got to be pretty exciting to be able to go in on Friday night it's very very exciting it's nice to always have big games like that at home uh, I can tell you some of my seniors can feel like they haven't played roles that it's all the way the schedules worked out they hadn't got to play them at home in three years so they're very excited about that opportunity to bring that test home and see where we stand to two and eight a year ago, now five and one this year. All the success that breeds from that. Obviously, you've got the community support. And it's got to be a great, uh, you know, sophomore season for you as a head coach. Yes, but being able to come in as team of the week, you know, and, and have some of the things that go along with winning. Obviously, you don't want to drink the Kool-Aid too much, you know, to go in <laughs> yes, one week at a time. But being able to kind of bring that in, and, you know, and have another team bonding atmosphere. I guess what does that do for the the remainder of this schedule? Uh, you know, this is a group of guys that love each other, so another chance to have an outing together is just fun. It's a, it's always fun on the bus. It's always fun anytime we go anywhere, and 
this guys are just, these guys are just fun to hang out with, and that's that's been the kind of the, the neat deal because they know as soon as we're, as we're done here, it's time to go to work. So. Absolutely. All right, good stuff, coach. Let's hear from some of those players. All right, Ajay, say one of the seniors on this team, and you know you were able to see uh, a low season from a year ago, and now you see it makes the wins this season probably even better. I guess take me through a magnificent start for you guys. Uh, you know, starting like uh, going into the season, you know, uh, summer conditioning and like. It was gruesome, like we were put through the test, you know, we we're going through like uh, coaches' workouts, you know, some of us wanted to quit because of how gruesome they were, but I mean, we stuck through it and, um, you know, we just got better and like, I guess the bond that our lineman has, like just over the, what do you call it, um, the lineman challenges and stuff like that, it was just really fun and um, I guess us staying as a team just really helps that. And you heard that stat earlier, 1,300 yards on the ground for the rushing game in just six games. I guess being one of the linemen there and being able to, in, in this group, I guess how much pride do you take in being able to see that each and every week? Uh, we, we take a lot of pr pride because, uh, what do you call it, you know, I started varsity uh, for four years now, and I think this is the best O-line I played with through all these four years. And best, and I think it's the best running back I played with too. You know, I really like this group, group of men and, like, <laughs> we've just uh, been doing good every week, and we've just been, you know, with each other, and we've stayed together. All right, Axe, you've heard from the head coach. You've heard from the linemen themselves about how strong this running game has been for you personally. 1,300 yards on the ground. Uh, this entire offense, over 1,800. I mean, what a job that this team has done, the rushing side of things. I guess, what do you kind of take from that week to week? Teams know that you're going to get the football, <laughs> and yet uh, you guys are able to power through each and every week. It's just, it just helps a lot with linemen knowing their blocks and wide receivers finishing out the blocks. It starts with uh, helping side, running inside, and then wide receivers finishing the blocks on the outside. So a little wide receiver block turns into a big 20-yard play. I guess, and what does it mean for you guys to really kind of buy in to Coach Tebow coming in his first year last year, trying to develop a new culture, uh, you know, a, a, a sluggish start, but then be able to really con control the, your destiny now to start off this second season uh, with, with him at the helm. I guess, what was that flip of the switch over the offseason? Uh, just really some more workouts. Uh, plyos, Coach Brewer getting us into the plyos, getting us faster and stronger, and helping us a lot with speed. Absolutely. Well, and then this community, as you heard from Coach earlier, around you guys, 100% win or loss. Yes, how sweet is it now, especially on the winning side of things, to have each and every Friday night you guys run out in front of them? Uh, it feels good knowing that our community supports us. It, it, last year they supported us, but this year it's a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> And how could it not be a lot better? The Lockney Longhorns now 5-1 and one on the season and the end zone team of the week. More K-Speedy Sports Extra coming up next. Oh,